Reseller Clickbait Podcast, Episode Ninety. Hey, Corey. Good fun. And hey, we can fact say good here. morning this time. We oh yes, we, we are we back can in the morning because we are back in the morning. Fun fact. Here. Oh yeah. Wait, that's Corey Grams and Pops Vintage. I'm Ken, Ken. SSK Promo, Mister Bill. And uh, fun fact: Episode Ninety is also Episode Nineteen Ninety Nineteen that you've done on the show. I don't, is it I really don't 19 episodes? No, I think that it's actually more than that. That's I didn't. I don't <laughs> check facts. You know, I was only like, contracted uh, for like 20, so this could well, be good oh, for so me. So you're going well. Free Corey, time. It's been fun with you. I appreciate <laughs> uh, all of your efforts. No, actually, I think it's been quite a few more. I just thought, wouldn't that be cool if it was like episode 90, like 90 no, sounds I, like 19. I like, really uh, want to go count now, but this thing's recording, and that would yes. not be great. Great podcast. Kind of, yeah, let's just count. We don't math anyway. We can't count. Uh, no, I have. I'd have to take my socks off. We'll get to the bottom of it though. <laughs> so we are. We are. Um. Yeah. Back to recording in the morning. Yeah. It seems. Man, it seems like forever ago that we actually record. We didn't skip a week. We didn't skip an episode. But we it recorded like we it, did. and then two days later we recorded again for the last episode. And so it's uh, been like ten days or more here. 10, 11 yeah. days, something like that. So, which is about the length of one of our phone conversations, you know, 10 days or <laughs> yeah. how, how many miles that, <laughs> but yeah, we didn't record or we recorded earlier because you were, we were getting ready for the planes to profit meetup, which then we were. happened between the last two episodes or happened between the recording and, and today, whatever the episode and today. Yes. It happened. Say that. <laughs> so how did, um, Let's just, I want to, you know, talk about that for a few minutes. How, how did you feel the event as one of the organizers? How did you feel the event went from an organization standpoint? Would you do it again? Well, I'm that, well, that's the question. Maybe I think we would, I, we are, we are talking about next year already. And okay. I don't, it is a ton of work. Like anybody that's putting one of these on, it is so much work. So yes. It's a commitment if you're going to do one. <laughs> so we're talking about it. I think we would do it again. We're happy with the turnout. I mean, I, I'm biased, but it was probably the best event ever. Probably the best event ever. Yes. So. That's, <laughs> well, it looked fun, man. It had so many cool different elements to it. I think, you know, the big the big buzz is the, uh, the, party, the party thrifting bus, which yep. was, you know, just... A great idea, first of all, to kind of bring everybody together that was there at the event uh, to do something that we we all do every I think day. That might have been separately. That might have been Inked Picker's idea originally, like a year and a half ago, is to oh, just really? rent a party bus. I think it might have been her idea, if I remember right. But but making it happen as a whole different story, and it took took us all a lot of work to make it happen. It was yeah. it was a ton of fun to to get everybody on the bus. We were worried about storage. And everything else for people shopping, but under the bus actually had the typical under bus storage, so it was just full of yeah. IKEA bags, and that's so that, fun. it ended up being a, a lot of fun on that bus. But the breakout sessions for the different speakers, the get-togethers at night, all the all the different networking areas we had, and then everybody just taking off and doing their own thing as well. I know, well, I can't say that part yet. There's a video coming out where some people did huh. a little different kind of sourcing. I can say that. Yes. So I uh, be watching for it. that to come out. I believe it'll be on Resale to Rides channel. Yeah, I won't. I won't spoil or alert that either. But I was watching. Uh, Alicia was the the guest uh, last night on Roman Romans. Anytime Picker. Yep. She was on Roman's show and she was talking about the event. And she she also didn't want to give up the uh, the spoiler. But just uh, go check out uh, Resale to Ride. That's uh, Jessica, right? Jessica and Zena. Yep. Jessica and Zena. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll put a link down, Corey, I'm giving you, I'm giving you work to do in editing. We'll put a link down below to, to, we'll get you um, guys in there. <laughs> yes, for sure. Anyway, all three of our watchers can come watch yours. <laughs> hey, we, that's the episode. We got some new, some new folks watching the show, a few new subscribers and we definitely did. appreciate them. Hopefully, hopefully they, they come back for this episode and hang out for a little bit longer. We got a pretty cool topic this week about, uh, a return uh, that that I had received uh, from an item I sold on eBay, and I think you have some return stuff as well. But uh, yeah, it's in that interesting same stuff. Ballpark. So stick around, stick around 
for for that. Yeah, That'll we will be, get to the cool. point here. It's just yes. we gotta we gotta wake up first. So we're kind of winding into the show. The last <laughs> half is always the best. Exactly. Yes. You know how many people are just gonna fast forward now? <laughs> oh, never thought <laughs> it's like that. skip half the show. <laughs> yeah, this is all. Well, the let us know how it right was. Here. Yes. Oh, you know what? Okay, speaking of goofy stuff and spoiler alerts, I don't want. Okay, I don't want to spoil this or whatever. But I'm beginning to think. I can't confront, but I'm beginning to think that the disgruntled octopus is not really an octopus. I, I think that's an outlandish theory. I think it's a guy that's just in an octopus, like a costume. I can't confirm that or whatever, but I don't have a tinfoil hat, but we'll we'll go this, (laughs) we'll go this route. (laughs) Of course, he's got his birthday party hat on. We'll get into conspiracy theory here. Watch I don't some, know. Sometimes uh, an octopus is just an octopus. Th- well, I've heard that too, but uh, yeah, I can't confirm nor nor deny. But been uh, watching some good content over there on the disgruntled octopus, and I just I just uh, watched one of his this morning. Uh huh. Like I, I literally was watching one of his episodes before we got on the podcast this morning. That it, I was as well, and that's where that's why it was fresh in my mind. Where was it? The reaction think, video? Mm, it was. But, yeah, well, I was watching uh, the same. We one. won't spoiler alert that one. We won't spoil that one. So, uh, here you go, Corey. Maybe we'll put disgruntled octopus. We'll just we're just gonna put a lot. <laughs> we're just gonna talk about everybody else's shows because you know why not? So this is, what else, this what is just gonna be the new Yellow Pages podcast. <laughs> we're just, this is just your directory. Come yeah. come check out links. Yeah. Oh, see, I should have did. Well, oh, okay, that worked out because anytime picker. You know, yep. any time picker, that's A. And then, well, disgruntled <laughs> octopus. Do we know any B? Do we know any B or C? Beach by repeat. Beach by repeat. She was at the, Amy, she was at the. She was. The planes to profit. Amy and Matt. Yep. Amy and Matt. And Do you then, remember, did you ever, I know we, we were starting businesses already. So we were old enough to be starting businesses when the phone books was still vital to a business. Yes. And we always had to consider our business name based on where we were going to show up in that, in that little yellow directory. That's uh, the, the, the company that, that I used to work for at at my full-time job. They, it was uh, a one, a one was the name of a one printing. And that name was chosen just because they would show up first in the, in the phone book. When you looked at, at, so I I remember having those meetings as like being the general manager. Uh, That was like a, a meeting decision when the phone book people would yes. come in and how, you know, if you wanted to have an ad in the phone book, well, how big of a it place, wasn't what cheap. placement, what sections you wanted to be. No, it was not cheap. I think the last year we were in the phone book, we paid like $1,100 for that year to be in the phone book. It it's was not cheap. Just crazy. And then, you know, then of course the WWW, the World Wide Web came around and and that kind of made yep. the yellow pages extinct. Now you just, you know, Google what's this, you know, what's this address to such and such a place or. And there's only or two find... reasons to have a phone book nowadays. And that's if you're a mob boss or you need to hold something like pry a table yeah. up or something. Yeah. You got like a table with a short them. leg or something. There's no sense in repairing the leg, you know, no. who wants to do home repair when. Or if you like got the phone doing book. fire pits, cause those things will burn forever. Oh Yeah. Or uh, I always wanted to get in that gig, you know, as a strong man where you'd tear a, a phone book in half. Oh, good luck. And uh, except the, my act went on too long because I had to just tear the pages out individually until <laughs> individually. I got I down to the cover. Well. And then I just have that like cover and you're like, yeah, I ripped the phone book. I'd have to get a I, saw for one of those. Those I, used to be thick. I mean, our hometown one was like two inches thick at one point. And it's, they were big. Yes. Yeah. Our, our, in our town, we got a small town. It, you know, it was. how the heck did we get onto phone books? I I don't know because anyway. well, we're the directory. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we don't want to do home repair with home repair with phone books. How about that? That's a new segment in the show. Did you insulate with phone out? books. Oh, because we were talking about we were the directory for. Yes, uh, that's right. There you go. So we'll get anytime we, picker in there too. Yeah, anytime picker and beach by repeat, and then maybe. Cri- Chris Cajun reseller. There we go. Cajun There's reseller. Disgruntled octopus. And that's oh, as many pages. Oh, disgruntled already had it. We're just going to have four four sections. We're just going to go to D. 
that's it today. <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> nope, uh, too early for those kind of jokes. <laughs> so what, what else, what, what were, we were talking about something or what do you have going on that we need to cover? I don't know. I don't have a lot going on. Well, my floor in my living room is an absolute disaster. Like we, we decided to tear our floors up. I think you didn't I think make we've it told to the, the story. The time? No, no. Well, no. <laughs> I think we told the story on here about my dogs ripping the carpet up, like putting a hole in the carpet. Yes. And then the other one, like getting his nail caught in a register and bleeding all over the carpet. So our carpet is in disarray. Like it's not yes. looking good. So we started tearing our carpet up. So we have like a bowling alley yeah. size strip all the way down our living room where we've got hardwood now and the rest okay. is still carpet and all the furniture is on one side of the house. And okay. Like it's so a, you're it's gonna, a wreck. going to do this in sections. Now I'm a car. You're putting in hardwood floors. We are. There's, there's a bait. There's a debate that just rages constantly in the YouTube so community. There's, Oh wait, I don't know. Let's... I don't know if that'll show up very good. Will it? Oh, so half, you can see it. Let's see. This half is carpet and this half is hardwood. It's actually like more of a third. Okay. So we're getting there. It'll, it'll take us like four days to do the whole floor, but we had okay. one day. Now we got like three days where we're busy and we can't work on it. So we just have to live in the mess. Yes. And then Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll jump back on it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a carpet guy, Corey. I'm not a, I'm not a hardwood floor guy. I mean, I know there's, advantages and disadvantages um but i just i like the warmth and feel of a i think a bedroom a nice should always have carpet yes like if you get out of bed and put your feet on the floor it should be going to carpet like a bedroom should just have carpet but a living room that's where you bring yes. company over and they're hanging out and, and frankly you just don't want your company that comfortable you want them kind of anxious <laughs> to get back to their own house so hardwood <laughs> with a little gravel it's well, generally, that's, that's living room. <laughs> and there you go. You need to just get cats. Cats that drag the, the litter all over the hardwood <laughs> floor. Cats. You know, that little bit of, yeah, I'd say uh, other than, you know, the kitchen, the kitchen and bathroom, those can be, you know, hardwood or tiled or, or whatever. Linoleum but, yeah, the, or whatever. The rest of my house is, is uh, carpet. I probably should get new new carpet so when you're done do you know how to lay carpet or just hardwood flooring can you come over no, to my we, house we've done carpet before we've done a lot of carpet. flooring that's just i don't like doing it anymore it, it hurts it, so, it hurts but he it hurts summer. we used to plan it out by the room like let's do this room in flooring now we plan it out by if we're doing a room we break it up into like three days because it, okay. it literally hurts like the older we get the more it hurts oh okay. so we'll do so a it's... strip like that and then the next day we'll do another strip and the next day we'll do another strip so these three days in between that's not really you have stuff to do it's just like recovery time for your your old man knees that i wish to... but no we actually <laughs> we actually have to go work at the escape room so we're we're kind of oh, out okay. all weekend and we don't get to do any any flooring on the weekend because we don't get home till 10 o'clock yeah and then like like today we were going to try and do a little bit this morning before we go into the escape rooms but but i have to record the podcast and teresa and our youngest who's staying with us to work on the weekend they okay. ran into sioux falls about an hour away to buy a big well they're going to come back with a whole car of transformers i hope transform oh so we made now a big transformer buy carpet. no very that's, cool that yesterday we were on Facebook and we found a somebody had a Facebook ad for a bunch of transformers that were new in the box. Well, you, new open box. They still have the boxes yeah. and everything with them, but they've been opened. Okay. And I think they are these older Gen ones and Gen two. They're not Gen just... ones. They're the masterpiece collection. Okay. If you know what that is, I didn't know what I it was. Not. I had to, we had to look them up, but they had a whole collection of them. I think there was like forty some of them or. Real close to that, like 30, 39, 40 Transformers. So they had them at 2500 bucks for the collection. Okay. And wow, we, we kind of haggled back and forth, and we settled at 1100 So she's oh, going to pick hey. them up. Nice, uh, nice negotiation there. 25 yeah, down we, to 1100 Yeah, We've had them on looking, there for a while. It's out looking in the garage the other day, you know, going through death pile stuff, and it's like open up a box like, oh, 
yeah, that's right. I remember here's a whole box of <laughs> Transformers that I had bought at one time. And it's like, you know, it's yeah. one of the things they got put in a box. Now you're, you have this advantage in this buy of they're probably all in their boxes and either transformed they're one complete. way or the other. Right. And mine are just a box of Transformers. It's like, I got to figure out if all the parts are there. I got to try to assemble them, reassemble them. And they're some of the older ones, you know, that really are articulated in, in every aspect. The good thing and, about transformers is they actually sell even if they're missing arms and stuff like we've yeah. had pretty good luck just selling like a part of a transformer like yeah i don't know the autobots got mad and ripped him in half whatever the case like <laughs> we've done pretty good just selling chunks of transformers and they seem to sell and these ones we, we did because it was such a big purchase we looked them up we looked every transformer up he had and yeah. just saw what they were selling used price because we're okay. not going to try and sell them as new even though they have the boxes and a lot of yeah. them, I, there's several in there that are two, three hundred dollar transformers oh, just really? used out of the box. Oh man, see so, that's exciting, and that's our. We should be should be in the three thousand dollar range by the time we sell them all. Oh sweet, see that's I was so, going to say that too. Can you can you feel it? Can you feel it, Corey? Can you feel can it? I, can I feel it? <laughs> can you feel it coming? Can you feel yard sale season just just coming? Like get. I need right it to wait corner. a little longer. Like I need one more Wait. good snow. I know Ken hates winter. I okay, so this was actually Corey's last episode. Uh, he's decided to use foul language and bring up the S word. Uh <laughs> <laughs> foul language. I like that. <laughs> oh, Look, we yeah, can we can bypass the snow. I just need a good cold snap. I need like thirty more days of winter to get through your like all last year's buys in your death we pile need, and get those moved out. Yeah. Yeah. I, we I, need to clear I, some more. I abandoned that uh, possibility a long time <laughs> ago and I'm just, I'm, but it's not it today. It's going to be like in the mid sixties around here. Oh, however, it's been, it, we're at that time of year where it's like, Oh, tomorrow it's going to be like, you know, 60 some degrees and the, the sun might be out for a little bit, but then tomorrow it's going to be like 34 degrees. You know, it's like that back and forth and the, the weather, the weather changes. I'm I generally, for the most part, I don't get uh, sick very much. I don't get colds or, or flus or wh whatever like that very often, except for kind of twice a year when that weather kind of makes its changeover on those days, you know, when it's 60 one day and then it's 20 the next day and it just like wreaks havoc. Uh, I've I mean, discovered yes, uh, the secret to, to avoiding what that. It? What is it? Here's, here's what you do when that okay. starts happening. And yes. before and after that happens, okay. stop going outside. Just stop. Okay. There's you. There's you don't no. need to see those people. Just stay, stay in the in. house. <laughs> stay in, and then the weather stays very climate controlled. Yeah, this is true. Oh, and it's it's you know me. It's extra warm in my house. That's probably another thing. You know, when it's is, cold outside, is it I'm a little going tropical from, in there. Yeah, it does. I think uh, I think it. You know, it gets that that misty kind of you know tropical. That's I've a been running my, a ninety. I've been running my okay. I've been running a a um, humidifier in my uh, you know just like a tabletop one. That, the mist thing that comes out just to, my house gets like so dry and and then I shock like everything. I literally, <laughs> I literally the other day I got shocked on a biscuit. I had like. I had like a tray of biscuits, you know, that uh, cooked and I went to, to pick one up, you know, to eat with my dinner. And, and it shocked me. It's a freaking Doesn't biscuit. Doesn't that make Where's you feel conductor? like you got superpowers? Well, a, a Why would you want to get rid of that? It's also, well, see what also, maybe it's a wiring thing too. Sometimes when I go to hit the light switch <laughs> in, in my kitchen, like to go into the kitchen, it'll shock, it'll shock me. And then it, I, I don't have like a regular TV. I have a projector. Um, uh, you know, great big, huge screen on the wall. And so that's my, but sometimes over at the kitchen, I, it'll shock me on the light thing and it, and then it makes the, the projector go out for a second. So I don't know. See, this is the only thing I, I'm going to miss about thing. carpet. Cause right now I can yes. like kick my shoes off and like scrub my feet across the floor over towards Teresa and then touch her on the <laughs> ear and then duck, <laughs> but on hardwood. Cause because you know she's going to come out swinging at that point, right? Oh, there's a backhand coming for sure. If you shock her in the ear, you're getting it. But I can usually duck the first couple. So I will the miss that couple. about carpet. Yeah, you have to get you a nice, like one of those nice long, like 
or a big area rug. I never see, I never understand why people put in hardwood floors and then go out and spend a whole bunch of money on a, on a giant area rug that pretty much covers up uh -huh. the whole area. I have the answer. Oh, okay. Here we go. Dogs. Everybody tune in. Dogs. Dogs. That's why. We have hardwood floors, but we also have okay. poodles and their feet grow with hair really thick. And watching okay. them try and get across the floor without breaking a leg is sometimes interesting. So we put down <laughs> rugs. And, and then if they ruin trimmed? the rugs. Huh? Aren't you supposed to get these dogs like trimmed every now and then? Nah, and get their hair? No. <laughs> That's for those bougie city dogs. No. Ours get haircuts when they stop seeing and their face grows over and they start running oh, into doors. Yeah. We get them haircuts. I, I heard that story. I heard that story that you were telling on one of your, your recent uh, videos over there on Grams and Pops. Let me see. A, B, C, D, E, F. Well, okay, Grams and Pops in the directory, in the yellow page directory. You're at G. <laughs> Grams and Pops over there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I yeah, these go, are... go watch that video. Corey telling the story about his dog springing into action to protect the family. And, uh, <laughs> the next thing you know, it's got a concussion and, uh, <laughs> sat herself right down <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor little guy. So anyway, yeah, yard sale season, it's getting here. It's getting here. I can feel it. It's right around the corner. We're, we're probably about a month. A month out in our area of really kind of being into you'll get a few I think stragglers so here that start well i guess they're not stragglers we have a few now. stragglers are usually somebody that's behind we might yeah, have but after. i haven't checked a few I'm early birds we have a few now but we're not ready we actually in another video previously here not too long ago a couple of videos ago we made the resolution that we were going to start trying to focus on high ticket items this year yeah. big buys so yes. we've we've kind of gotten okay with the fact that we're not going to make 10x on things if we make 2x on something if it's a big like these transformers we're yeah. going to spend 1100 dollars. we should make around three okay so by yes. the time it's done margin wise that's not great but that's the kind of stuff i think we're going to try and focus on this year yeah. so the garage sales are super exciting that they're coming but we're going to be looking at we'll still buy the other stuff like don't get More me wrong we'll still runs. buy that but yeah we're going to be trying to I'd buy try to... much larger this year I tried to do that uh, last year. I was really trying to focus on that at the yard sales, but man, it it is so hard to leave money behind. Oh, I'm not going to uh, leave anything. You know, yeah, I don't. That, that I'm not going to walk by something that I could pick up for two bucks and sell for thirty. I mean, we're still picking yeah. that stuff up, but we're going to be very focused on the bigger collections and stuff this year. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm. You know, I'm going to try that as well. I did. Fi I did figure out. So you know, I've been trying to work through my death pile and all of this stuff and. Um, but I did find a way to motivate me to list that stuff was, and I haven't really been sourcing at all, but I did go out to the bins a couple of times this week and picked up, picked up some stuff. And it kind of just gave me that new fresh items that were exciting again, even though, like say, I can go into my garage, find a box of transformers and that should be exciting. I don't know why I did air quotes. If you were watching why I did air quotes it's on exciting. transformers, you know, Fake excited. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can find a box of transformers and I should be just as excited as I am finding, you know, something in a bin, but it was that those couple of trips to get some new, new, fresh stuff. And, you know, you want to bring it home and snap some photos right away. And then that, that kind of led me into, Oh yeah. Hey, while I'm doing this, let's get all these photographs That's, and listed. I don't and, have one. I don't have yeah, one here. We thought of you the other day. We made another purchase on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook you. Marketplace has been killing it for us. Yes. Teresa what? was browsing Marketplace the other day, and she found some supplements, which okay. I'm always and a little leery you, when it comes to supplements. Made you think of me. Well, it did once we got them home, because what they were, they were okay. six, five, Viagra, five bottles Viagra of supplement? hair growth supplements. <laughs> So you I immediately actually, thought of you. <laughs> actually, I think I am regrowing. My 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 sister usually cuts my hair, and well, keep uh, an eye on our store. We can help you I with will, it. I will look at that because and she, the last time she's like, I think you're regrowing, regrowing hair, and well, there you go. and I can feel it up there. And Jill had even asked me one day. I was getting ready to do. Uh, a show or record or something like that and she's like are you gonna put a hat on which is i always put a hat on she's like because you have a whole bunch of wispies that are like <laughs> uh, there at the top and it's like well that's just interesting maybe maybe i am 
need to go to your store. I, I wish that it was something a little more exciting that made me made you think of no, me. It, well, it is out. exciting. And, and here's why. Because we got those. There's five bottles of them. We paid $40 uh -huh. for okay. those five new sealed bottles. Okay. They're selling. There's only one listed right now on eBay for $69. And I oh, think really? there's 28 of them sold right in that. Yeah. I, they're selling right in that 40 to $50 range mostly. So I think we should be able to get. You know, I think we should be able to get about 49 bucks a bottle out of them. Ah, that's sweet. That's a good deal. Make sure to turn off international shipping on those as well. I yes. hear sometimes those HBA sort of items uh, yep. can be a problem if folks overseas that's want to That's a good buy point. Them. I'm not sure if we did that or not. We bet I better tell Teresa before she hits the list. Well, there you go. There's a there's a, a good tip for you. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. I do international shipping, <clears> but... um. I don't I'm always leery with supplements and supplements stuff. And I, I always think yeah. I'm going to get them taken down for, for whatever yeah. reason. So we did a lot of looking. A Hopefully Vero, they'll be all right. Uh, that's, uh, well, that was a cool, well, I appreciate you thinking of me anyway, even though it was, you know, about my, uh, my shiny dome. Well, if uh, eBay kicks us off for those and we have to get rid of them, I'll send them your way. Okay. I would appreciate that. Heck, man, can you imagine what, <laughs> I'd go a full head of hair to go along with the santa bear i wonder does it help beard growth too or does it just help it just says hair growth so i don't know it could just be like your knuckles i don't know <laughs> the old, the old knuckle. yeah i'll be able to braid like my ear hair pretty soon if i start taking stake taking those uh that, that's funny yeah, corner you your eyebrows them, you want to get them taken down or get a get a return or oh okay there you how about that how about that segue return? I'm going to talk about <laughs> that's a, that's kind of our topic. If you waited this long, this this uh, topic I got the other day. This box right here, that box from eBay that came to me and it was OK. So it was an item that I had sold. So here's the situation. It's an item that I had. sold. I wasn't expecting any boxes to show up. So it's like, oh, hey, here's a package and. And I open it up, and it's an item that I shipped out. I had these um, eight track tape players that were new. Old, they were new old stocks, uh, probably from the seventies or whatever. And Did like the big council shaped one, like the the bigger. Uh, one? <laughs> yeah, the, it was it was a home it was a home deck, and that's actually part okay. of part of the story too. But it was you know I'd say it, it wasn't very big, maybe the size of a toaster or something like that you know it was a, a home sure. deck and intended for that but um and i had bought three of them uh at the sale and i, I had negotiated a deal i got them for eight dollars a piece and i'd sold uh one of them to um uh to larry larry way out one yep. and uh just kind of sold that one to him on the side but the other two i had sold for a hundred bucks a piece and so i get this package back in the mail and it's the, it's the, it's one of the units that I had sold already. And the label that was on it was from like the UPS store. It wasn't a return label or like my return label. So what the customer had done is returned the item, just sent it back to me. And they just had put a in note inside that said that, uh, that they had played it and that it, that it played fine. And but at the, but then it just kind of stopped playing and it wouldn't like go th cycle through the, the tracks or whatever. So it's like, but they didn't start a return on, on the they item. Just sent it right back to you without return it, through eBay. And, and the note said, you know, to explain what it was. And they said, so I'm sending this back for a full return or for a full refund. Okay. So I'm like, man, that is a situation that I have not encountered before in ebay usually if there's been some sort of return it's they go through the proper process of starting refer a uh, re return or at least reaching out to me and with a message and saying hey i noticed this situation yeah uh, i want to return this what do i do because some people don't understand the platform and at that point i will you know explain to them hey Yep. apologize you know that that didn't work out for them if they go in and start a return it'll send them a label i offer free returns on pretty much every every item that i have 
you'll get a label, slap the label on there, return it back to me once I get an opportunity to check out the item and make sure, you know, what they're sending back is in the condition that I had sent that to them. And then I'll, I'll issue a refund. And, and that process has went well for... That's very risky on work. their part. On, on, I, the cu- on this customer's like, part, yeah. Yeah, if I was the customer, I would have felt that was pretty risky just to stick something back in the box and... And, and said, I wouldn't I, have done it. And, you know, I, I could I can kind of tell that it is the um, somebody that just doesn't understand the platform. I'm guessing somebody that's yeah. buying an A-Track player now has, you know, old tapes. Probably I'm assuming I'm making assumptions that it's probably an older person that that uh, kind of does business the old way. But in just putting it in that box, it, I mean, that's the same as just walking walking into walmart you know you bought an item from walking into walmart just setting it on the customer service counter and and going home and then expecting for walmart to credit their account or something there was no it's not it's not a great idea i know i know at least two other people that that use 3pls for their business and it's just third-party logistics it means you send all your stuff to a warehouse yeah and when you get an order you tell them and they ship your product out yeah. So if you were to grab an item and stick it back in a box and just ship it back without a return or anything else, you'd be shipping it to a random warehouse. Like, yeah, your product and would they would just have be no gone. clue. You know, that's and so that's a very risky just, thing. It was just an odd situation to have happen. And so uh, now I'm at the point of what do I do? Um, do I just refund refund the person their money? Um, I guess, uh, you know, in the comments, what would you do if that, or have you ever had that happen to you? We'll, we'll kind of go through that, but I did, I, I, I can see the situation. The person, you know, didn't want it. They did. They explained to me what their issue was. However, what I did find out is I then took the unit out and tested it. Number one, I wanted to make sure that it was the exact unit that I had sent to them and test it to see if I could see what was happening. And so I put a, a track tape in and it was it played fine it switched to the tracks i put another one in um and and it was playing fine well when it got to the very last track it did what they were indicating it it kind of stopped and then it what was the song change through the tracks oh it was uh shout out that shout out to archie biscuit but i was playing some some elvis some elvis a tracks you know, because that's what my my dad has a tracks. My dad's a big record and music collector. I was all prepared to hate on your stuff. music, but I'm not going to hate on Elvis. I'm not crazy. You can't you can't hate on Elvis. So <laughs> it was cool to, to to play some Elvis. I, I'm a big Elvis fan myself. But um, oh, and Archie, he could be in the phone book under A and B, right? There's yes, like he could. a dual. Uh, we're not going to link his channel down at the bottom. You know, nope. Nobody wants to get. He doesn't involved. put out content anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Archie. Anyway, so I test it and I find out that that it's like, oh, it stopped. And so I pull the tape out. I put another tape in. I'm playing through. It's doing all the tracks. Well, so I go back to the original tape. And what I see is there's a spot where the tapes are spliced. All those A tracks, the tapes, you know, are spliced in there at some point. And the splice job was not very good. There was a little corner of the thing that was peeled up. So it was probably spliced just one of those catching cassette on the tapes? machine. I we used to not. do that in high school every now and then. Have to splice a cassette tape that got mm-hmm. eaten by, by whatever, by your tape deck in your car uh-huh. or a VCR tape. We've spliced those before, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Never n- have have never done that. That's interesting. Scotch tape. You could fix those tapes. You could fix a VCR tape with Scotch tape, and it does have mm-hmm. a a dead spot in it, but it does work. It'll fix the tape. We should do that. Uh, I remember back in the day in uh, in when I used <laughs> we to work could just in do a DIY production. channel here. The production uh, part when I actually ran the printing press uh, in the in the back in the press room we had a uh, an old stereo receiver that had an eight track tape player in it. We used to we had a stack of eight track tapes. You know we had Kiss, <laughs> we had um, oh KC and the Sunshine Band was great. Used to crank out some KC every now and then. But oh, I remember no. the Kiss one. What is, song? Did... Whenever they formatted, I don't the, think the I know a KC and the Sunshine song band uh, like song. They got uh, like, I want to put on my, 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 my boogie shoes. Okay. Yep. And, I do and, recognize uh, the song, surprisingly, because you didn't sing it well, but I do recognize that tune. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what, what was, what was their biggest hit? Uh, 
the I'm I'm looking that up because we all need to know that right now. Uh, I didn't but, recognize oh, yeah. the band. Shake, 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 shake your booty, shake your booty. <laughs> yeah, uh, you oh, didn't do I'm any your better on that one. Man. I'm your boogeyman. That's what I am. Um, man, they had a get down. Now I feel tonight. like I gotta go get some KC and the Sunshine Band music you do, here. Like a I, best of, go out I on create your, a what playlist. You know, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add some KC because that brings up. But anyway, we would we had this one kiss <laughs> like Kiss Alive was the A track that we had, and it would um when they format it, you know how usually like it would have so many tracks on the thing, and then it would click over or whatever. Yeah. There was one song. It was Firehouse. It was Firehouse by Kiss. And it would, uh, they didn't do the tape. So the, the song would be playing and then it would fade out and then the track <laughs> would click over and then it would fade back in with it did it in with, the middle like, of the song the ending part. Yeah. Right in the middle of the song. Wow. <laughs> so now in my brain, every time I hear the song firehouse by kiss, I'm you expecting, out? I'm expect I fade out. Yes. <laughs> I'm expecting that, that part in the song to just like fade down and, uh, yeah. But, one part okay. of the song. Just Wait, a that, just crappy doesn't... production. KC and the Sun. Man, don't even get me started. What are your thoughts on Tony Orlando and Dawn? I don't I don't know. This this is another one. Like I'm not huge on on names. I'm horrible with names. But if I heard a song that was from then, I would probably uh -huh. recognize them. But I don't recognize that name at all. You you probably heard tie a yellow ribbon, tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree, uh, yep. Candida, uh, Sweet Gypsy Rose, and not three one. times. Knock three times on the ceiling if you want. No? Nope. Huh. You might be dating Man, yourself Lord. here. These are getting back there. I, I, <laughs> yeah, our audience is going to... Let me know what your this thoughts are This is when the monkeys were young. Tony, Orlando, and Dawn in the comments. Fan or not a fan? You know, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Anyway, so <laughs> the A-Track tape player, so what I figured out that it was, it was fully functioning and working. It was, it was the tape. It was the guy's tape that was not working. Anyway, none of that has to do with probably had Kiss that, Alive. He just didn't that know that has better. to do. That has to do more with what I'm going to do when I relist it than this return. So I get this return in the mail, and I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know how if I just go in and refund this person, how it's going to affect my account on eBay, or can this person well, if I refund if you just went money, in and refunded them, and then they go in and dispute it or file a return after that could they even do that well here's <clears throat> i don't know I if they could because you would have refunded them i talked you know you and i had chatted about it a little bit and then i talked i also talked to the the aforementioned uh larry way out one because i wanted to check and see if his unit that he had had was working and functioning properly because these are old vintage electronics and especially stuff with the, the even though they were new old stock and had never been played before or out of the boxes the the belts and stuff in these old machines can deteriorate over time yep. and so i want to say hey you know have you played yours blah blah, blah. so i ended up uh -huh. uh, i called ebay now very i actually it might be only the second time i've ever had to call ebay and i called them one other time about uh a negative feedback but i wanted to call and find out how sometimes this i returns. call them just to see how they're doing just <laughs> yeah. just hey. like keep in touch how's things going there in india or wherever it is that you're located i was fortunate enough to get um to get a, a a person that you know where my english was their native first language a very nice lady uh shout out shout out to carrie over there at, at ebay and uh we talked through the, the issue and i was surprised that her her first answer you know after kind of going through and giving her the the item number and all that stuff she could pull up all the information and and kind of given her the the situation that it was just returned outside of outside of the ebay platform her first initial reaction was you don't have to do anything as yep. far as you know you can refund them if you want you don't have to refund them you don't have to do anything um at this I think point you met all your obligations at that point you didn't yeah. have to do yeah, you didn't have to go any further with it. If they um if they were to go in now and open up a return for the item, I, I also explained to her, you know, I'm not sure this situation. It's also not my job as a seller to teach their platform. I don't have to right. teach, I don't have time to 
explain everything. Now, I'm always going to be helpful if somebody asks a question. But when somebody just doesn't reach out to me at all, it's like I, I don't think that I need to go coax them into whatever. So the, the reply was, I don't have to do anything. It's, uh, if they did go start a return at this point, of course, they would be sent a label because I offer free returns, but they've right. already shipped the item back. They have nothing to ship. And they paid their time. And, and I'm sure they probably paid a good amount because it was, they just went to well, the UPS store. You said it was a UPS store. store, so they would have paid yeah. shipping plus. Plus, and in this, they're about like eight pounds. So it wasn't, you know, it's not the lightest thing to, to send out. And I just see these so, as missed opportunities. Like for, for, for me, I, I would probably write something like you must file an official return through eBay, but rather than just send that to them, I would use Google translate and translate it to like Mandarin and then send it. <laughs> and everything would have to be done in Mandarin from then on, Mandarin. like just make it ridiculous <laughs> that, because the situation is already ridiculous. It, it, it is a bit, uh, it is a bit, rough or, or perplexing again because i wanted to be see what protections that i have um if i were to refund the money mm -hmm. and then they wanted to open up some sort of a return case uh if they wanted to do something along the lines of like negative or neutral feedback uh what if they did a charge back on their credit card on stuff right and so i i talked i talked with carrie there from ebay about this and pretty much every scenario was well, at this point, eBay is out of it. There's no return. They yeah, did this covered. outside of the system. And I can, uh, but they can see the history. Even if the person would open up a return right now, then they would also have an option to go in and put that tracking number that they got from the UPS store sure. in to say, look, it, I sent. Now, at that point, it begins, it starts to be a, a, you know, my word against their word. They can put in that tracking number and say, Hey, this item was shipped back. Uh, you know, if I weren't, uh, you know, uh, an honest and upfront guy, I could say, well, I, number one, I never, I never got that package back. I didn't get something, but, but I did. Well, and in I'm some cases, be... you might not have gotten it back. I think they were very lucky that it yeah. came to you instead of somebody yes. running a much larger operation that does use a 3PL or a separate shipping location or anything like that. I think they were very lucky that it went to a, you know, a smaller seller like one of us. Yes. Yes, exactly. And so, you know, I do have that opportunity now. I have not, I've had it, I've had the package back, uh, just a little over a week at this point, the customer has not reached out to me. If they did their, their tracking, um, they could see that I did receive it and they still haven't reached out to me. Uh, and eBay, they were able to see, you know, I basically... I had had no correspondence with this person, yep. um, but turns out I did have correspondence with them, but not about a return or sending something back. Uh, I want to say three or four days, maybe getting on a week before they had purchased it. I had got a message from somebody uh, that they were asking if the item was if it worked, if it if it definitely okay. worked, because they had seen a number of other A tracks that had said for like parts only or whatever, and so you know a little a legitimate question is, hey, is this working? Uh, but then it also said we are looking for uh, we are looking for a player to put in our son's 1972 Ford pickup and want to make sure this works. Okay, I send them back the message that just says. Uh, this this unit is definitely working. It is, however, a home stereo deck unit and not it's not unit. intended to be mounted in a vehicle. You know, hopefully this helps to answer your question. And I didn't hear anything, you know, three, four or five days go by. I just figured I answered their question and they moved on. And then then this unit sold. I didn't put two and two together or even look at, you know, who the buyer was that it might have been somebody that asked me a question you know, a week ago, what well, turns out it was this person. They ended up buying it anyway. And so I don't know if then they bought it and felt once they got it, they were going to be able to try to mount this thing into. Oh, you'd be vehicle. surprised what kind of appliances you could rig up inside of a 72 pickup. <laughs> well, I know my, my dad went back in the day, you know, he had a record player. He had like a 45 record player mounted yeah. in his car. You know, you have to talk about the number of new needles and, 
uh, records you'd have to buy because they'd skip when you were, you know, going through. But uh, yeah, we were in the CD mounted. generation. So, but you had to have a passenger with the CD players because they'd skip if you put them on the seat or the dash. So somebody yeah. had to hold it and like do the do the stabilizer <laughs> thing while you were driving. <laughs> oh, until like when the Sony Walkmans finally put that little like hold hold button. They had like the anti skip or yep. the hold button. You could flip over and it would keep it from skipping when it was just sitting on the on the dash or on the seat next kind to of. it. Kind of. Kind of. Yes. <laughs> and so anyway, so where I'm at with this now is still. But so now I'm thinking, you know what, person. Maybe you deserve to lose your money. Number one, you just boxed it. Number one, you asked if it was going to work in a 72 Ford pickup. We're just, just going to call this wasn't. person Harold. Let's let's just give him a name. This is Harold. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. That sounds like a, just a name that you picked because it would be like like funny or that it would be like, uh, you know, disparaging of some. <laughs> I, hey, way. we don't want to disparage any heralds. It's just a name that you don't hear anymore. And I and I'm picturing this guy as a as an elder generation. Yes. Who's Wait. just used to doing things a certain way. You know, you're I mean, we could switch here. it. We could do Alfred or something, but Harold just came to mind. Okay. Let's do Alfred. Because Oh, we have a are are we <laughs> actually actually here's a fun fact. Fun fact. You heard it here at fifty two minutes into the show or wherever we're at. My middle name is Harold. Now we're switching back to Harold then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what's your scenario? Harold, Harold buys this. this w- go ahead. Well, and, and it's just not like, this is just how he would picture doing business. He's just going to ship it yeah. back to the old hardware store. Yes. So, so I could, I could see that happening it, with, with Harold or Ken Harold bill, you know, the, <laughs> that boomer We're generation, not- they do things different. Right. <laughs> uh, i'm probably not gonna i don't usually bring that up that much but uh or actually this is a first i've never brought that up uh anyway so i'm at the point now where i haven't done anything i've had this unit back a little bit over a week i did call ebay uh my i don't have to do anything however i can i can it's not a scamming situation it's not anything no. of course usually if it's a scamming situation i wouldn't get the product back and good they did a very good job of repackaging it Put everything back in its plastic. Put everything, you know, all the styrofoams, and they they Harold's no slouch. It it he back. does things he's right. Not. He's a uh, so you know. Ultimately, uh, I'm going to refund the person their money because I wouldn't want to be out, and I would want somebody to do that for for you know for myself being from that older generation that'll just ship something back. <laughs> uh, I, you know, or if my folks or somebody had done that, I would I would yeah. want them to take care of me. So I I will refund the money, and. And then it goes through my head, should I have some sort of an explanation to them about how, you know, in the future they should blah, 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 blah. Um, yes, but it like, should also be in Mandarin. It's, <laughs> you have to make them do a little work for this. I, I, you know, I, but it's not my job again to teach, to teach people the platform and to teach eBay and, and, uh, so I am, plus I want to get this item relisted because once I listed them, I, within like, Two weeks after listing them, all three units were sold. And so I know that this will move along pretty quickly, but I don't feel comfortable relisting it while there's still this situation. Uh, you know, I can block the person and relist it so they can't rebuy it, but I would just, that just doesn't feel right to me. I think that that's wrong to them to, if they're still on the hunt or looking for one to see this come back up and go, wait a minute, that's the unit that I sent back and I didn't get my money back and, you know, but eBay, eBay, basically, in any scenario, in any situation that I came up with, they had my back because the person didn't follow the proper procedures. They did something so this is outside one, of eBay. Yeah, this is one instance where eBay actually, I think they're more behind the seller than the buyer on this one. Yeah. Which doesn't happen often, so I'm glad to see that's the case here. I mean, it, it, it is. They do okay uh, with seller protections. I can't complain there. So maybe that's a little bit of an unfair statement. We've had really good luck with eBay. Yeah, I, but so they do tend again, to side with the buyer more often. I've had uh, really good luck with my buyers. Very few, very few yep. issues. You know, you get some returns, and when there are some returns, you can see based on their explanation what you know. They've all been fair. I've had, I've worked with customers that, you know, have decided to keep an item or sent something back. We've actually had more issues with sellers than buyers. Well, uh, yes, we, we had one seller all. and one buyer lately that that uh-huh. was that's been. A bit of a herald 
Nah, <laughs> Harold's. <laughs> We're not going <laughs> to. Uh oh. <laughs> we shipped one out. Well, we shipped what we sell Barbie clothes. And I'm, I imagine yes. it's not Harold buying those. But we shipped Barbie clothes out. And somebody was obviously doing a purchase to Mexico because it went to a. Okay. It, it went to a distribution warehouse here, but not one of eBay's. Like it was a forwarding house. Okay. And it was going on to somewhere in Mexico. Okay. And when they got it, they got a hold of us right away. Like the day they got it and said there was nothing in the package. It was empty. Okay. But there's zero chance that package was empty. It, we don't send empty packages. They they're yeah. saying there was nothing in it at all. No sticker, no thank you note, no piece of clothing that that got sent the Barbie clothes. And they were just very adamant about the fact that it was like not in there. We just sent an em- yeah. empty sealed envelope is what we they're saying we yeah. sent. And then all they had to do, like we were going to refund them and just be done with it. It was like a $4 Barbie shirt or something. Yeah. But they left, they left bad feedback. Like after we talked to them, they didn't even give us a chance to fix it. They went and left bad feedback. Okay. So we called eBay to say, will you remove the feedback? Because they haven't even given us a chance. We have returns. Yeah. And eBay told us, no, they wouldn't remove it because it was their opinion. And they okay. refused to remove the feedback. But then at, like the, the very next day, that customer came back and filed an item not received case okay. on that Barbie thing. All right. And immediately when they did that, eBay looked and saw we had a tracking number that arrived in the U.S. where it went. And they removed okay. the case and that person's feedback. So uh, we ended up getting the feedback gone anyway. But it was okay. only because they pushed it too far. And With we were item. 100% willing to help them. They just wouldn't let us. Yeah. So well, that's, they hey, that yeah. one. For a $4, for a $4 Barbie outfit. Yeah. It, yeah. A lot of trouble for a $4 Barbie outfit. We would have certainly refunded if they had just been decent about it. Yeah. Like, now, do you suppose if the package, let's say the package truly was empty, could it have happened in that distribution center? Like, it could. I remember. Uh, don't some or of those it could have like in kind of look through stuff in in Mexico. Yeah, yeah. where they pulled everything out. Or mm-hmm. I mean, I could see them maybe not getting your stickers or your thank you card back in, but to pull the item out of the bag and still right, and it's in a bag in a bag. So all of our yeah. like Barbie clothes and stuff are are in a clear sandwich bag. And then we stuff those in a white, well, we probably over, I know we overpack. We, we stick them into a white bubble mailer. Okay. And a Barbie shirt doesn't need a bubble mailer, but that's what we put them in because it's, yeah. it's a little more sturdy. So we yes. throw them in there and we throw a sticker and a thank you in it and we fold it and seal it up. Now, I don't know if she even got the same envelope. She said it was unopened, sealed, not tampered with. It looked fine. Maybe it wasn't the envelope we sent. I don't know. Yeah. But she that never gave be. us a chance to get that far either. Like she immediately went nuclear on it, and and I know well, we didn't send out an empty one. So, well, but whatever great, the case, you know, case closed. Case closed. You got yep. negative feedback removed, and the the case against you removed. So, yep, that's one where they didn't. They and didn't you get got the the four dollars good on that, right? You we, got yeah, we got to keep that four dollar. Take that. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> take that, Harold. <laughs> Buy my pop tarts this week. That's <laughs> oh, I love pop tarts. I haven't had pop tarts are kind of like a see. I'm almost out of pop tart season because pop tarts are more of like season. a winter time thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, pop tarts are an all year <laughs> season. season. <laughs> yeah, like kind of that fall winter season. You know, you get that yummy warm that, pastry. See, I'm going to draw the line the here, morning. Ken Harold, Bill. No, we're we're not doing that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> we, if you start putting seasons on pastries, there's uh-huh. gonna we can't do that. We they were we're gonna have to reevaluate this. No pastry seasons. That's an all year <laughs> thing for me. <laughs> you know, donuts, cookies, cakes, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. That's all year. I will that's, agree that's year round, but for me I'll agree to limit the, the middle name usage if you agree to leave my pastry seasons as a as an open season yearly thing. Open sea okay. All right. That's a deal. That's a deal. <laughs> Hand handshake. On that deal, oh, we're right. both same. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> hey, that, that's just, always we'll disturbing just... when you get somebody that yeah does the uh, the left handed shake, and um... yeah, it's so, always anyway. it's always an awkward moment. 
So I will probably let, let us know, you know, in that that situation there in the comments, if uh, if you would have just refunded right away and went on, uh, I felt that it was it was a good idea to call eBay. Number one, you know, I'm doing the work for you folks. If you if you ever got that situation as well, that, you know, I called eBay stance was we've got your back. Um, the yeah, it was if. I refunded the money. Once I refunded the money, even though they did this outside of eBay, they could no longer open a return or sure. anything like that. You know, they could still do a uh, a negative feedback or something. But through this situation and the history and what it is, uh, they said it would just be a simple call and I could get that removed because uh, they, they could, could still you know, the dispute situation. it with their card. But but I've learned that eBay tends yeah. to stand behind you on that, too. That's a whole different topic. Like we've dealt with that yeah. a few times and. And I did ask that too, if they did a charge back and, you know, eBay can see the whole history, especially if I did, you know, like, well, if I do the refund first, um, then, then there's, they, they can't really do anything about no, the, you know, the charge back or whatever, or eBay would have my back there. If, uh, they do a charge back before I do the refund, eBay will also have my back because yep. That it would they they performed an act outside of the eBay platform, and there would be no um, they have n no proof. I mean, they have their tracking numbers and stuff, but who's to say that they just didn't put a box of you know box of rocks in there and send it back right. to me or or you know the, it, there's some elements of uh you know he said she said my word against their word that sort of thing. But uh, um, again, shout out to Carrie and the folks at at eBay that. Uh, really good conversation and was was helpful to me and so now i will should have got a link like, we could have put her in the directory oh for, for ebay because abc oh carrie would oh be we had our e that's a good we one could, we'll put ebay e for ebay we'll put ebay in the directory and then uh so we just have to come up with an f and uh we'll leave <laughs> <laughs> we'll get uh we'll do the f's uh next time um so anyway that's kind of what our week is and and i'm i'm awake now you know i'm awake here I'm, I'm ready to go see what teresa got for transformers i haven't heard them come in yet but oh. i'll bet they're they're not gonna be too much longer i hope the deal went through yes fingers crossed it sounded like a done deal but you know how that is with marketplace yeah were so. you uh were you able to pay them with like a vendu or anything like that ahead of time before no. going or so no, it's I'm be not on the transaction that big. I want to be in person and yeah, I would okay. have much rather been there, but I didn't have a chance to go with them this morning, but cool. Teresa and Hannah both being there as long as they're there in person, I think yeah. it has a much better chance of ending in a good way, like getting the deal we wanted and we agreed upon. Yes. So I didn't want to pay somebody that much money remotely. Well, dealing with that, dealing with that much money, I would, I would definitely want Grams as my representative over, over yep. pops anyway. So uh, good call. Well, not with negotiation because she's she's the first one to get excited and be like, you know, she'll uh, see that pay there's eleven hundred dollars, and then we're uh -huh. gonna make three grand, and she'll be like, oh, I'd have gave you two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, you don't like I'm Graham's negotiate. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Well, there. See, I learned something. But she's a generous soul when it comes to negotiations. But if I needed, how about here's I guess the direction. If I needed some muscle. No, if I need a yes. little muscle, a little strong arm action going on, I'm taking. Yeah, if he grams. starts to wiggle on the deal, I think she'll pin him down. <laughs> She's got us on that. <laughs> down for the one. <laughs> pin him to the mat. So anyway, she'll call his corn, mom. Anything else? Um, anything else for this week before we wrap it up? Yes, like oh. I, I have a whole new, a whole second show worth of stuff, but I don't think we have time today. We do not. Well, I mean, we could, but it'd be an hour marathon and or we'll just take hours. like 11 days uh, again before we come back and do another one. We'll just do yes. two today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to go eat breakfast. It's breakfast time to go next door. And uh, yep, I better go see how our floor is doing and go check on yeah. trees and all that good stuff. So I think we're done for today, but. All right. Well, keep those notes and, and we'll cover that uh, maybe on the next episode of the Resell Clickbait Podcast.